So the road's in a bit better shape here than it was about three quarters of a mile back where I had to stop. But uh had to tack on I think it's a mile and three quarter to my each way to my trip because of the clearance of my car. It'd kinda be hard to see, but right in front of that snow pack that's kinda half moon shaped, I can just make out a whole bunch of trucks parked there. So if I had proper clearance, that's like yeah, probably have a mile up there. I don't know. So as near as I can figure it. That's the 13er uh, Sheridan, and that's the 14er Sherman. And I may have Sherman and Sheridan mixed up, but uh, that's definitely the 13er. That's definitely the 14er. And as you can see, we have clear weather, just like the forecast predicted. And here comes another vehicle that can drive in this. Looks like possibly another Subaru. So anyway. That's it. So here's one parking spot. And now you can probably see those vehicles there at the little half moon shaped snowbank. And right about there would be the start of the trail. And I think I'm just under 12,000 feet here. And it is snowing, very lightly. But it's the end of June and it's snowing. And I made it to the start of the trail. Here's some snow. Somehow someone got up here in a Honda Fit. They're crazy. Snow's turning into tiny, tiny hail. Yay, Colorado. There's an old mine entrance there. Kind of see. So you can just make out the first vehicle and that bend is where the official trail started. And I can't even see my car from here. Partly cloudy, no 10% chance of rain. Yeah, I think that's the second mine that we're supposed to have. Let's see here. We're at a balmy. 12,300 feet. I just met two groups coming down that abandoned their peak because it's just socked in up there. One made it to the ridge, one made it make it that far. I can't even see the ridge anymore. That might be it right there. It might not. So you can kind of see right there. I'm about, the clouds are moving into me where I'm at. I think I forgot to mention earlier, my car to the trailhead, quote unquote, 1.5 miles. <laughs> so, I'm getting my mileage one way or another. Check my map. Yeah. Oh, there's Karen. Hey! Flat! This is the first flat I've seen. Or like, well, well before the, the trailhead. There's some other people coming back down. A little lake. I bet that water's cold. Ah, oh, flat is wonderful. Flat is life. Whoever put so much up on the way to a peak? I'll have to figure out what the name of that lake is, if it even has a lake. Or name, rather, if it has a lake. I can see the trail. I can see some people still going up. Uh, one's coming down. One's going up. So this is the second mine shaft. Not that little hole in the ground I saw earlier.
12.6 by my watch. I just like to come up here for daily commute. So it looks like people are making it up there. That's the ridge. All right. So I'm about to hit the glacier. I believe those people are there on the ridge. And that heads that way. Turns out those people that were camped next to me last night were from Shawnee. So that's pretty cool. So I don't know if you can see those little black dots right there. Those are birds. This is the ridge. Unfortunately, can't make you a snowman because this is all frozen solid. Sorry about that. So that's the cornice people are hiking across because they're dumb. Here's proper trail. Woo! feet. The winds died down, but it still sucks. So you can see Mount Sheridan finally. Quite a view. That's the way I came up up there. Howdy. Top still sucked in though. So, there's the ridge where I came up. I thought I might turn around. Thankfully, as you can see, it's cleared up a lot. A whole lot. So down there ways is where the trailhead was. There's some peak, I don't know, a 13er. I think I'm about a couple hundred feet from the top. It's kind of like this the whole way. It's actually not that bad. So I want to move that knife edge. Down there is where my trailhead was. Down there is the knife edge. So, according to my watch, I'm 0.12 miles from the peak. Tenth of a mile, it says. That's it. So, there's a girl that's been kicking my ass. I didn't catch her age, but I think she's a teenager. She destroyed me on that climb. So... There's Leadville, over yonder. I think that's, one of those two is massive in Elbert. Or maybe that's Elbert and that's, hell, I don't know. They're all massive. Thankfully the wind died on that approach. Damn, it's beautiful up here. That's fair play over there, I think. All right, I'm gonna get to the peak though.